let you. Ooh. There we go. That one I felt too. Oh, that was a mule kick. Today we have a fantastic Russian shotgun slug that you've never heard of before called the PPSH. Or Pulya Puliva Sachkova. There we go. And if a supercar like a Ferrari can be beautiful, then this slug can also be beautiful because it's very nicely made. I don't know what the Russian version of a Ferrari is. Maybe a, what, T90 tank? But this does look like a scaled down tank round. It is a discarding Sabo, thin stabilized shotgun slug. It's made out of lead and it's one of the most advanced shotgun slugs coming out of Russia today. So let me shut up and let's get on with the shooting. All right, welcome back to Flater folks. Jeff and Officer Greg back here with you, Central California. Today we're gonna be bringing you the Russian, this is the PPSH round. Not the uh, PPSH submachine gun. This is a round designed by uh, Alexei Lavrov in Russia. He sent these over to Jeff to be no, shot. No, he, he didn't design it. It was like, I think it was Poliva. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. <laughs> yeah, that. Wasn't Poliva a, a Russian ice skater? No, I think it was a base. So anyway, best. Alexei sent these over. Alexei has no relation, however, to Sergei Lavrov, who's currently in the news over here in the U.S. So uh, these are a... Uh, a sabo a discarding sabo fin stabilized round you can probably see in there in the point that it's got a big giant hollow point in it there we go straight let ya man. Man. that was solid yeah all right right out of the gate we have a fantastic flying slug dead center accurate shot The sabos are already gone, and we just see the moment after it releases from the gas piston. But as you can see, it's not rotating, even though the little fins on the slug are kind of angled a little bit. But despite that, it still flew very nicely. The 20 pound lead plate. How much does it weigh though? About 20 pounds. <laughs> it's made out of lead. <laughs> How much is that in millimeters though? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Okay, engage! So that round tore through this lead plate like uh, Rosie O'Donnell through a donut shop because <laughs> it dug clear into this thing and just about came out the back side. I think it's time I need to recast that thing. Yeah, you can see all these pieces we found on the ground that were blown off the back of the lead plate. So anyone who wants to make a vest out of these lead plates, it would probably work very well. <laughs> For home defense. Yeah, why don't officers just make vests out of those lead plates? You can know, you get the... Can you, 500 and 600 pound vest. And then what I'll do here, let's see, because we... I don't know if you guys can see it on camera, but there's a little shinier area in there. That's actually the round that has sort of melted itself right into that hole. But I think we'll be able to pull just the round out of there. Or at least pieces of it. Huh. Yeah, those things are moving. They're probably doing 1,600 so, plus feet per second. That's the ammunition, and this is the target. Bink. Almost made it through it, but there you go. Yeah, I think it was compromised already. This is a Russian glory hole. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Alexi. All right, this one shot just a little bit low. It could have been Greg, could have been my powder load. Didn't look like there was any issues with the slug, though. Very stable. Once again, we had good release from the gas piston. Got a little glimpse of the uh, one of the sabos right there, and whammo! The slug did a lot of damage to the lead plate. More often than not, a slug striking the plate will just leave a, a slight bulge on the back of it. This one almost went through. Ready? Here we go. <laughs> That thing jumped off that plate. Here thing. Now again, the shot was a little bit low, but we're seeing some consistency. So at this point, Greg will start bringing his point of aim up a little bit to compensate for that. After all, his red dot on his shotgun is calibrated for American foster slugs. <laughs> I'm ready. Here we go. 
God, that is a kick. Woo. Is that FBI certified uh, yeah. drywall? Oh yeah, it's it's uh, it's rated to stop uh, no slugs whatsoever. <laughs> you can see that entry hole though, although a little bit low. Look how perfectly round that thing is. Because as we go back, you can tell it's carrying more material through it and starting to slow down because now it's dragging a bigger, softer hole. And when you've got a bigger, softer hole, it's all that matters. I think you know how this story ends here. <laughs> so it, <laughs> the very last one. So it, did, so it did make it all the way through, and then it hit our the wooden block at the end. It plunked right there, made a little divot, blew all this cocaine up here, and then uh, that little little powdery mushroom. Right wow! There. Yeah, that, nothing left of the fins. Does that smell like asbestos to you? It smells like Colombian marching powder. Look at this. Jeez. <laughs> oh, Give me a straw. <laughs> This is filmed at 17,000 frames a second. Nice trajectory there. Just a little bit low. He's bringing up his aim though, and he's improving. But the slug had no problem going through all those layers of drywall. And I can't remember how many sheets, if it's 16 or 18 sheets. Someone will probably count them though. <laughs> okay, I'm ready. Three, lad, Jeff. Oh, there we go. That one I felt too. Oh, that was a mule kick. Ooh. All right, so Officer Doug took a little donkey punch right here to his, uh, to his chest. I was aiming for right here between Cartman's eyes. Drifted a little left. We don't know if it's the shooter or the round yet. We'll see there or, in slow-mo. Or my powder load. That's yeah. always a factor. Yeah, let's blame Jeff this time. I, oh, yeah. <laughs> we couldn't blame, it, blame me on the, uh, the heavy hitter slugs because those came preloaded. But I think it was Doug. I think he moved at the last minute. He could have. He, he goes, he, ah, he, he, and he, he dove to the left. Anyway, we punched a, a nice little round perfect hole in here and it carved into the vest. I just reached in here a second ago before you guys walked up, and there is a huge deformation on the back of this vest, but what appears to be no penetration. There doesn't seem to be any hole back there. So let's uh, see if we can take a look at inside of his vest. So we found this angry little bastard really deep into that vest. It pushed almost clear through the back, but did not penetrate. Instead, it broke through the uh, carrier on the vest only, just from the blunt force trauma there, but did not actually penetrate. However, deep in here we found the lead buried into these Kevlar fibers, and you can even see it kind of melted itself around them. And then it's lovely, it's a little black plastic fin. But all indications were that that thing was flying nose first. Yeah. Straight and true. Not too bad. Da darling. <laughs> And there you have it, the 35 yard or 32 meter long range shot. And I know that to a lot of people that doesn't seem like long range, but it does give you an idea how the slug will perform at further distances. The effective range of a shotgun slug is not hundreds and hundreds of yards, it's usually within 100 yards tops, maybe 150. This is a slow motion recoil, I think it was 1,700 frames a second. Uh, just gives you an idea just how brutal these slugs were. I didn't think they would kick that hard because they weren't a particularly heavy slug, but they were traveling very fast. I really hope you guys will check out Stone McNuckle, who was kind enough to let me borrow this music for this video. He will love it if you subscribe to his channel. He puts out music about once a week, so it's not like he never puts out anything, and it's always really good. The guy has immense talent, and I'm really happy he let me use his music. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. I think they're filming the new uh, Top Gun out here, aren't they? Yeah, I think so.